Hello, my fellow Odoozers, and welcome back. Budgets are one of the essential steps in project management. If you don't have the funds, you're probably not going to complete your project successfully. In some cases, budgets are also the engines that drive a project's funding, as they become the means of communication with stakeholders. They can also help measure performance and control costs. So as an example of how to use budgets for projects in Odoo, I'll show you one of the budgeting practices we use here at Stealthy Wood. So let's dive into our database to see how it works. So now let's turn on our budgeting uh, management feature. This is an accounting feature, so we'll go to the accounting module, configuration, and settings. If we type in budget, we will see it here turned on. Uh, budget will also make use of analytic accounts, which will also be needed to be turned on. So now that that's turned on, let's go to the projects and show that our repair project has it enabled. Under the settings, we have repairs. As a note, every project created will eventually create an analytic account, but creating an analytic account may not create a project. It is bi uh, unidirectional. So now that we have the analytic account specified on the project, we'll go create a budget. We'll go to the accounting module, counting submenu, all the way down to the budgets. We have some predefined already, but we'll create a brand new one. And we'll create project X for 2022. Now, it's important to note that you have period on here twice. Period on the macro level, which applies to the entire budget, but it's not required, so you don't need to if you don't want to. In this instance, we will. So we'll pick January 1st, 2022, and then we'll pick December 31st, 2022. Now, in the budget lines, we need to specify a budgetary position or an analytic account. You don't need to do both as it's not required. We'll create a brand new one on the fly, or in so case it exists. Uh, and if we take a look at the configuration, we'll see that we have it defined as expenses. We have a project expense set up, and we can add more expenses if we wanted to. In fact, we could just make this a little bit more generic and add income and expenses. Or instead, you'd create another budgetary position just for the income aspect of it. Now we'll specify analytic accounts because in this instance, we want to be very specific what this budget, uh, budget applies to. And then we can specify the dates on the line items themselves. The implication here is that we can create multiple budgetary positions, duplicates of each other, and just change the date range so we can also then get quarterly budgets if we want to, to enhance our uh, reporting capabilities or go weekly. And then we're going to specify a planned amount. This is the amount that we expect or plan to incur or generate for that period. In this instance, negative 1,000. Because uh, if it's an expense item, we need to make a negative value. If it is a revenue item, we'll flip it, and it will be a positive one. So now that we've specified the planned amount, we're good to go. We won't talk about practical, theoretical, or achievement just yet. Confirm and approve. We are now starting out this year. So let's impact this budgetary position. There are a few ways we can do that. Any journal entry will do it, such as a bill or invoice, but we'll go straight through expenses as this is how we're working today. So we'll create a brand new expense. Uh, let's say I went to buy some tools. We're going to hit the expense account here. When, and because I specified a, a product with a right expense account, this will default to the project expenses that I specified on the, uh, the budget, actually. But you can change this on the fly if you need to. Uh, we'll specify the date. doesn't matter. And we'll make sure we hit the repair uh, analytic account as well and it's paid by the company because we use a company card. Easy peasy. Uh, now we'll save this. We don't have to create an attachment receipt because as the boss, I don't need anybody to ver uh, verify my work. I'm just going to say, okay. I forgot the amount. It's important. So Odoo is uh, dummy proving it because I'm a dummy. So we'll make it 100. Save the amount and create it. We'll submit to the manager. Who's me? So I'll prove it anyway. Approve, post journal entries. Posting journal entries is important because an analytic account will not be hit or a financial account will not be hit until the journal entry is fully 100% posted. So now that is done, let's go see how this impacts things. In the accounting module, we have a budgetary analysis report. 
under the reporting submenu. And here we can see all the different budgets we have specified and the different uh, budget positions. So now we see for the this year, 2022, we have a plan amount of negative 1,000. So I plan to incur $1,000 worth of expenses. Now my practical amount is the actual amount that has happened so far since I booked an expense for $100. It's a $100 practical amount. The theoretic, theoretical amount actually is a calculation based off of the start date and the end date, plus what day is it today. And so because it's not the 1st of January and it's not the end, we're not 100%, as of today, theoretically, to reach the 1,000 expense, we would be at 208. That's a planning, that's uh, a forecast. But we're actually only at 1,000 or 100. So therefore, the achievement column is telling us what percentage of our plan amount have we occurred. We've hit 48% of our theoretical amount. Sorry. Um, so now that we have that specified, you can see it all here. You can filter, group by, all the normal fun stuff that you know from reporting capability. How does it tie back to the project? Well, because we've hit the analytic account here, repairs, if we go to our project module, look at the repair, edit, we will see a smart button for the budget. Or we'll see the same thing in the status update Here's the budget, same content, just specific to this one uh, budget that we set up for the repairs project. Hopefully that's more clear. Hopefully you're now ready to tackle the projects. Let us know if you have any other questions in the chat of the video. Otherwise, stay awesome.